Good morning, friends. Today we will see the mechanism of action of calcineurin inhibitors. So, calcineurin inhibitors. Calcineurin inhibitors is the main therapy for immunosuppression. So, they are the immunosuppression agents which are used in the organ transplant or in the autoimmune diseases. Uh, this is the main first first line therapy for that and we have the two drugs in it one is the cyclosporin and another is tacrolimus so we have two drug in it one is cyclosporin and another is tacrolimus this both drug is inhibiting the calcineurin inside the helper t cells so when the cyclosporin is taken it enters into the helper t cell where it will bind with the protein called as the cyclophilin and this complex is inhibiting the calcineurin activity while tacrolimus is when it is given it binds with the protein fkbp is a fk506 binding protein so it makes a complex with this protein and this whole complex is inhibiting the calcineurin so this both drug cyclosporin and the tacrolimus they both are inhibiting the calcineurin so once this calcineurin is inhibited they causes the inhibition of dephosphorylation of one another protein dephosphorylation of nfed this NFET is the nuclear factor of activated T cells. So, inhibition of the calcineurin causes the inhibition of dephosphorylation of NFET that leads to the decrease in the mRNA synthesis of interleukin 2. So, decrease in the mRNA synthesis for interleukin 2 and that's why they causes a decrease in the interleukin 2 synthesis. So, interleukin 2 synthesis is reduced and because of that the T cell proliferation T cell proliferation is reduced and T cell proliferation so amount of T cell is reduced and that causes a decrease in the immunity. So, calcineurin inhibitor as we have discussed the calcineurin inhibitors they are the main immunosuppression agent and uh, we have the two drugs in it one is a cyclosporin and another is a tacrolimus this cyclosporin when it is taken it enters into the helper t cell where it binds with the cyclophilin and this whole complex is inhibiting the activity of calcineurin while when the tacrolimus is given the tacrolimus enters into the helper t cell where it binds with the fkbp that's a fk binding fk506 binding protein so they binds with them and this whole complex is inhibiting the activity of calcineurin so because of this so because of this the dephosphorylation of this protein is inhibited so the dephosphorylation of this nfet will occur nfet is a nuclear factor of activated t cells so this is this dephosphorylation is inhibited that leads to the decrease in the synthesis of mrna for the interleukin 2 so the transcription of interleukin 2 is inhibited that causes the inhibition in the translation of interleukin 2 which is a inhibition in the synthesis of interleukin 2 that causes a decrease in the t cell proliferation and that leads to the decrease in the number of t cells and causes the decrease in the immunity so this is the way how the calcineurin inhibitors works so cyclosporin and tacrolimus thank you guys